Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about development of heart in frog. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So development of heart initiates from mesoderm. Now initially, pharyngeal region between ectoderm and endoderm remains free of any mesodermal cells. So you will not find any kind of mesodermal cells in between the ectoderm and endoderm in the pharyngeal region. Later, cells from lateral mesoderm converge towards the mesodermal free area in the pharyngeal region, just like this. They get thickened in the region of the heart and thus form the heart rudiment. So these cells from lateral mesoderm will get thickened in this region and will form the hot rudiment. Certain loose cells are derived from the ventral edge of lateral mesoderm and they form the endocardium. These cells accumulate in the middle line and get arranged to form the endocardial tube, just like this. So after heart rudiment, we will get the endocardial tube. This tube bifurcates at the two ends. At the anterior end, it extends as aorti and at the posterior end, it receives two white line veins. Soon the mesoderm envelops the either side of the endocardial tube. Two mesoderm layers above and below the endocardial tube fuse. When the fusion of the two mesoderm is complete, the heart is suspended from above by a dorsal mesocardium. The endocardium is now surrounded by two mesodermal layers, the inner myocardium and the outer pericardium. The space in between myocardium and pericardium is called pericardial cavity. The myocardium gives rise to the muscles of the heart. The mesocardium disappears. This is accomplished by the rapid growth and expansion of heart itself. The rudimentary heart consists of a simple tube which becomes divided into three chambers. Two thin-walled auricles and one thick-walled ventricle. A longitudinal sheet of endocardium from the roof of the atrial chamber divides auricle into left and right chambers and ventricle remains undivided. The developing heart tube undergoes fixation and torsion within the pericardium so that the heart becomes a reversed S-shaped coil tube. The point of fusion of the veins to the heart is called sinus venosus. The ventricle forms two dilations called conus arteriosus and bulbus arteriosus. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video. 